Hey guys, Liz Hogan here with Team STX. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to string this Crux Mesh Pro into a Fortress 700. Be sure to check out the description below for all the materials you'll need. Once you have them, we'll get started on the top string. So to start our top string, we're going to go ahead and make a double overhand knot at the end of one of the sides. So we make two circles and then just drive our string up so it's nice and tight. And we also need to prepare the mesh. So Crux Mesh Pro is a seven diamond mesh, which means on its longest row there are seven diamonds. We want to find a six, row, six diamond row. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to take that and we're going to fold it over. Okay. So the rough side will be facing down towards the head. The smooth side will be facing up. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our string, our top string. We're going to drive it through that first sidewall hole. And we're going to take our mesh and we're going to go up. So we're going to go up into that first folded row of mesh. And then we're going to come back around and do the exact same thing. So we're going to go through that same first sidewall hole. We're going to come up and we're going to just pull tight. So now we've connected the mesh to the head. The next process is to actually do the top string. So we're going to take our string, we're going to go down into the first scoop hole, and we're going to come up through that second diamond. You'll notice when I do that, I have a loop now, and I want to make sure that the sidewall string always comes closest to the sidewall that you started on. So you can see it crosses over there. Now we're going to do the exact same process, but backwards. So instead of going through the scoop hole, we're going to go through the diamond first and up through the scoop hole. Again, we have our loop. We want to make sure we go through it. And we're just going to pull tight. Then all we're going to do is just complete that same process for the next three scoop holes. So we're going to go down through the hole, up through the next diamond. Again, making sure that we come through that loop closer to you. We're going to go down into the diamond, up through that scoop hole. Down into the scoop hole, up through the diamond. Again, pulling tight, down through the diamond, up through that scoop hole, again, through the loop that you've created. Through the scoop hole, up through the diamond, and then opposite. And then once you've finished the four scoop holes, it's time to tie off again. So we're going to repeat the same thing that we did on this side. We're going to go down through our diamond, up through that first sidewall hole, and then we're going to repeat so that we lock it in nice and tight. So through the diamond of mesh. And then again, we just want to do a double overhand knot. So two loops, and then just drive that string up. And that is your side, your top string for this head. So to start our sidewall, we're going to start it just how we started our top string, and that we're going to do a double overhand knot at the end of our string. And then much like when we started here, we're going to drive our string through the second sidewall hole. And we're going to bring it up the second diamond down. So we used our first diamond there, and now we're going to do our second diamond here. So we're going to come up through it. And then again, we're going to repeat the process by going through that second sidewall hole, and then up through that second diamond again. So this is just securing it nice and tight to the head. Now we're gonna make our first knot. So to do that, we're gonna take our string and it's gonna be very similar to our, our top string here. We're gonna go from the outside in. So we're gonna go skip a hole. We're gonna go through that fourth sidewall hole. We're gonna go from the outside through that hole. We're gonna go through the next available diamond. So that third diamond down. And again, just like how we had a loop up there, we have a loop here. We wanna make sure that we're coming up where our sidewall string was, starts. So instead of coming down towards the bottom, we're gonna come up towards the top. And again, we're gonna pull nice and tight. So you see the string should cross over like that. If it doesn't cross over, it means you probably came up on the wrong side. Next, we're gonna skip three diamonds. So what that means is we're gonna go down, 
the diamond. Notice we have not gone through the sidewall hole, down through the next diamond, and then again down through the th a third diamond. Once we have done that, we're gonna skip one, two, three holes, and we're gonna go from the inside out. So we're gonna come up through this hole, and then we're gonna go back in through this next hole, and we're gonna make sure we come up. So we wanna make sure we come up on top of that string. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go right back up those diamonds. So I've gone down through the diamonds, I've gone in the side hole and out the next one, and then I'm just gonna go up and follow my string. So I'm gonna go up through that diamond, up through this diamond, and then up through the third diamond. So I've gone up the three diamonds that I skipped, so now I've effectively tripled up, and I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. So you'll notice here, those diamonds are now stacked on top of one another, and that's exactly what we want. Next, we're gonna go through the next available diamond, so that's this one. We're gonna go through the next hole and come up through the hole that we've already used. Again, coming up on top side, pulling tight. And then just like the other one, we're gonna come up through that diamond that we went down. So we're pulling nice and tight. Now that we're getting towards the bottom of the head, we wanna make sure that the ball doesn't get stuck. So we're gonna stop going in and out through the inside. And we're just gonna go back to that first kind of knot. So we're gonna skip that hole. We're gonna to go to the next one. And again, we're gonna go out from the outside, up to the next diamond. And again, we're gonna have this loop. We wanna make sure that we come up through the loop so that we actually lock in the mesh. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing. We're gonna skip that hole. We're gonna to go to this hole. We're gonna come up the next diamond. Pulling tight. And then to finish, it's just gonna be how we started. So we're gonna go down through the diamond, through the final sidewall hole. And we're just gonna repeat that process. And then again, knot off with a double overhand knot. and that is your sidewall. So everything that you do to one side, you have to do the other side, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly repeat this exact same pattern on the opposite side of the head. All right, and that is your sidewall for the Fortress 700. All right, so now to finish off our stick, we have to do the bottom string. So on these holes, we're gonna go ahead and go through one of the middle ones. We're gonna find a row of six, our first row of six, which will be this one. And you're just gonna guide it up and down. Your last one should end towards the throat of the head. If it doesn't, you probably chose a row of seven on accident. So guide it through the other hole, 
And then you're just gonna make a simple knot. Okay, and now we need to start our shooting strings. So we're gonna do our top shooting strings. Um, and to do that, we're going to start on this hole right here. So the, the gap in between um, the first two sidewalls, your third hole down. You're just gonna drive your string through it. And then all you're gonna do is just follow this row of diamonds all the way across the head. So you can see we have this row of diamonds. We're gonna go up and down the entire row, up, down, uh, down. And then once you get through that last one, you're gonna go through the same hole on the opposite side. So we'll go right through here. And then you're gonna follow your string back going in the opposite direction. So we'll go down, up, down, up. So you'll notice I'm always going down closer to the scoop and up closer to the throat. And just following it across. And then once you get to the end, you're just gonna simply knot off. And the next one is gonna be a U. So this one's a little bit trickier, but the same concept is gonna apply. So we're gonna go ahead and go in between these two right here. So we're gonna just kind of wedge that through a little bit. And then we're gonna make a U. So we want it to kind of go like this. So we're gonna come up through this one right here. So you see it's right on the edge there. Down, up, so you'll always go down and up, down. And then once we get to this one, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, we're gonna go across too. So we're gonna go up, down, and then we're gonna go up. So you go across four, one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna go down four. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna drive that string through that same hole on the opposite side. And then again, we're gonna go back with the same concept. So we're gonna go down, closer to the scoop, up, closer to the throat. And we're just gonna repeat that process all the way following our string up and down every diamond. And then when you get to the end, Make sure this one's not too tight. You're gonna go ahead and knot it off. And at this point, your head is finished being strung, so the only thing you need to do is just trim these and you're good to go out and play.